uh, you want more and more uh, young people to catch the vision for how their lives can matter for time and for eternity. And so, uh, for example, you have a conference uh, year 2022, June 20 through 26. It's called Set Apart. It's a seven-day retreat for 18 to 30-year-olds. And during this conference, you want people to hear from God. You want people to see a vision for life that transcends just the material aspects that you talked about earlier. Uh, having a good job, having a nice family, having a comfortable living. You want them to see how their lives can matter for all eternity. Uh, uh, you and I have talked about this many times. Our lives are about a, a drop in the ocean of eternity. And so you're, you're, you're asking these young people to be set apart, to have eyes that look beyond time and space into eternity, and, and in the meantime, a transcendently important life. Well, you know, Hank, I, I'm, I'm certain, I mean, you are a million times smarter than I can think of my information. I'm, you know, too much. I'm glad for that. But for example, talking about the young generation, I, I'm not um, a part of any particular culture, but I'm deeply, deeply, deeply troubled about the American church, the Western church. Um, we say, what are you talking about? Well, every study that is released in the last three, four years shows no less than 60%, some even say 70 or more percent of the young people that were raised in Bible teaching, verse by verse teaching, um, um, evangelical, whatever you want to add to their name, churches, the children who were, you know, children's church, youth, and all this stuff, they grow 60 to maybe 70% of those same people leave the church when they leave their homes. The religion of none, N-O-N-E, is, is, is growing faster than anything else. Now, why is it? Somebody asked me recently, I was on a, I think, Modi radio interview or something like that, and this, this issue came up and I said, look, this out of 100 young people, 15, 16, 18, 20, 25, they, are, they have nothing to do with Christ anymore. Although they grew up in churches, I said, they are not leaving Christ, they're leaving the church. And later I thought, oh, I made the statement that that is true, isn't it? That is, unless somebody find the pearl of the great price, they're not going to sell or walk away from what they're holding on to. It takes another love to destroy the love they have now. For years and years, we've been burdened and I've been deeply concerned about the young generation and the answer to our churches in the future, even the Western civilization, it is the young people that will come to understand the living Christ. And if they could see him at least one time and follow him, which will be a journey to become like him, a theosis. It is, you know, the, the weird thinking, okay, you pray this prayer and you are forever saved and go to heaven. I don't know what on earth we are doing with the lives of these people. So this set apart conference, this, you know, June 20 to 26 of you know, this year, set apart this one week gathering for young people. I, I long for these young people, not for screaming and up and down, rock and roll, any of those things, but I, and they will have an opportunity to see Christ for who he is. We are not trying to convert them to anything. This one week, if the parents will think about not what you do, somehow get them to come to this place for one week, I think they will save themselves and it will be an answer to, I think, in some small way, the future of a church. You know, I've often said classes and masses produce flashes and ashes. So you go to an event and you leave and nothing changes. But at these conferences, you are literally set apart by God 
for a vision that can transform the world. I want you to elaborate on that so people can get a little taste of what I got a taste of while I was in Southeast Asia just a few weeks ago. I said this to people often, the best thing I can do for you is to go with me to Africa or many of these countries, even for 10 days or week or two weeks or a month. But the next best thing I can do for you to see the world as God see it and experience it is come to these gatherings we have. Hank, there are tens of thousands of young people in um, in America and Canada and Europe from homes that they will do anything in the world if only they know how to get into this. So set apart this retreat for a week. It's a time we, we tested and, and found ways in which they with their freedom are guided to see God in a way they never saw before. Like Lucy, I talked about the wardrobe walking into Narnia. And I can't explain enough of it. There's, there's this, and the people who are leading it are not just professionals. These are people who, you know, they, people don't learn prayer by reading books. They actually learn by doing it. And so when they are here that week, this uh, investment they make will save their life in terms of understanding what they should do. Again, our young people, once they know something worth living for, they will want to embrace it and they will do it. But they, they, they have to see it. People want more information, they can go to gfa.org slash set apart. Yes. You can also yes. call. So it's 972-300-7777. It's a seven day retreat. And it is Jesus calling you to step away from the world, to step away from your distractions, to learn to hear his still small voice, and then to discover a deeper calling for your life. Uh, so this is an epic opportunity to have a detour, as it were, into a world in which not only will you be transformed, but you will receive the wherewithal to transform the lives of other people.